Hey guys, it's Jenna. I know videos have been infrequent over the last week, but I'm trying to get back on the pattern of doing a vlog a day. And the problem with the challenge videos still has not been solved as of yet, so we're trying to work that out too. So um, just go ahead and stay with me through this video. I'm going to be a little bit ranty, but hopefully at the end of it I'll have a good message for you guys, so stay tuned. has been one of those days. Um, my bipolar has been under control for the most part over the last couple weeks, but it's starting to take a turn for a nosedive, and that's not the best thing in the world to happen right now, especially considering what Sunday is. And of course, that's Cody. He's at work again. And he's trying to keep me sane as best as he can while working around our schedules at the same time, too. Every September, I get really depressed anymore. Even though September is my birthday month, a couple horrible things have happened in the month of September. So for starters, as part of my bipolar, I have some symptoms of seasonal affective disorder kind of as like secondary symptoms to my bipolar as part of that so with the changing of the seasons from fall to winter everything's essentially dying getting colder getting miserable I become miserable myself and six years ago as of this coming Sunday the 18th my dad passed away from complications due to lung cancer. I am by default daddy's little girl. It still hurts six years later that he's not here. And it's just hard to believe that he's gone. He has missed out on so much. He didn't get to walk me down the aisle or dance with me at my wedding. And the other two big things that he missed out on and I feel cheated out of the, are that the September he passed away was the beginning of my last year of my bachelor's studies. So his dream that he and I shared or rather I should say the dream that he shared with me of me graduating from college the first child to do so was taken away from us and it's still very difficult some days because there are things still that I'm like oh I wish I could tell dad and some simple things still upset me. For example, Cody and I were watching TV last night and there was a commercial on about, it was related to like sending documents or mail or whatever, but it was about a kid trying to send letters to his dad who was away at war and the dad writing back and they had help from a neighbor to send those letters in mass and communicate back and forth and I felt touched because of the message it relayed about how people should be reaching out and helping one another and honestly I don't think we do enough of that in our society anymore but also what really hit hard was I can't write to my dad. I'll never see his handwriting again. And he and I were very close. And it's very difficult without him. But 
the other reason why I can't stand September is the same week, within the same week, time-wise, not necessarily the same year, but on the calendar, the anniversary of my brother's murder um, is within the same week as the anniversary of my dad's passing. And... I was closest to my oldest brother. All of us were very close with him. He was shot by his father-in-law and we still don't know why. The man who did it is sitting in jail, serving time, but he won't tell us why he did it. And my brother George always lived life to the fullest. He was put on this earth to spread laughter and to make people smile. And he was just so good in dealing with people. I, the first time my husband ever met him, we went to a restaurant with my mom and my brother and one of my nephews. And... My brother just struck up a conversation with the waitress, a woman he had never met before, and it was as if they were old friends who hadn't seen each other in a long time. And he had her laughing, and my brother and I always talked serious things together. Like, if I needed somebody to confide in, I went to my brother. I haven't found really anyone I can do that with. I mean, we talked about everything together. And he was that person for, I think, mom and all the rest of us siblings. He was the eldest. <clears throat> and he was a really good big brother. I mean, we could approach him about anything. And just for somebody to take that away is a shame. To take away so much light and laughter. To take away somebody who just wanted to make other people happy. So, it's really difficult. It still hurts. And this next week's going to be really trying. Things at work are teetering for me. I'm trying to hold on and make things better and just deal with life, but it's really difficult. And I know I'm not the only person out there who's struggling in life. And he, like I promised, here's that hopeful message at the end. To take a page out of my brother's book and out of my dad's books for life. The, there isn't a recipe to a happy life, but there's definitely things you can do to make it better and I'm trying to hold on to their spirit and I'm trying to hold on to their livelihood because they did everything to make me happy as far as whatever they could within their power so my challenge to all of you is to be the same my last video was encouragement to believe in one another, and I'm going to continue that here. You have the ability to make somebody's day brighter simply by being a nice person. I see every day so much negativity, and I just see my students breeding it, and it's not just drama. It's sometimes just outright maliciousness and instead of taking and I'm guilty of this too taking my stressors and my anger out on somebody else flip it on its head we're supposed to get along we're supposed to be a society a community we're supposed to help one another and honestly the more of us that do it, the easier it's going to become. We fight and we argue 
over some of the most redundant and silliest things. Things that we as people have zero control over. And yes, I'm talking big topics here, like racism. There's no point to it. When you break it down to a molecular level, we're made of the same stuff. Yeah, we have slightly different colors, and that makes us all a little bit different. We come from different backgrounds. We were raised in different cultures, but that just because somebody is different does not necessarily mean that they are evil or out to do us wrong. And I think we just as a society have become so me, 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 and it's making this It's making things worse. So, my dad and my brother lived their lives trying to make other people happy. And they had joy in seeing other people happy. So, I would like to challenge you to make other people happy. It does not take money. It does not take much effort. A simple, hey, how are you doing, and a smile is something that can turn a horrible day into a good day. Instead of yelling and screaming at somebody because you disagree with them and getting angry, just say, okay, I see your point, but I see things as blank, and talk it out. We don't need to scream at each other. We don't need to proclaim hatred to each other. We can be a great society again. We really can be. And it needs to start off with us just being nice. Just being good human beings. I mean, pretty much every religion out there, even though they don't agree on most things, one thing they do agree in is supporting your fellow man. I mean, one of the reasons why things like churches and synagogues and mosques exist is because of that element of fellowship. And I think that's honestly what's gone and disappearing. We don't come together anymore to just enjoy each other's company. We come together to argue against other people. People we've never met. People that we have no clue what their lives are like. So, just treat, really, it boils down to this, guys. Treat other people the way you want to be treated. If you want to have happiness in your life, you got to spread happiness. Just like if you want respect, you got to give it a little bit, too. So, it, it's karma. You know, put out the good vibes that you want and they'll come back to you. And now that I think about it, that's exactly what my brother and my dad did and why their lives, while not financially or economically the best, they were rich in so many things in life. It, happiness was one of them because that's what they put out there into the world. So, if you won't do me a favor, do your coworker a favor, your peer, your sibling, your neighbor, somebody random at the market. Do one simple thing. Give them just a smile. You don't even need to say anything. If you make eye contact with somebody, just give them a smile. They might think you're crazy at first. But seeing other people happy, I think, makes us happy because of that fellowship, that community aspect that we thrive for as a society. I know, we got into some pretty deep stuff and I'm probably preaching a little bit at this rate. But thank you guys for watching. If you would like to see more daily vlogs from me and Cody, Please let us know by like, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you later. Much love, guys.